you are given 24 hours to make people say your first name. Every time that someone new says your name, your bank account goes up by $100. Where do you go and what do you do to make the most money? Step 1, take a trip to Madison, in or Madison, why step 2, walk up to people looking lost step 3, ask what city am I in? Step 4, dollar. AA meeting step 1. Hi I'm Beanther did nothing and I'm an alcoholic. Step 2. Hi Beanther did nothing step 3. Dollar. You have upper management written all over you. This one's a smart cookie for sure. I go to the courthouse and change my first name to Alexa. No change your name to I. Or the. Or um. Or every time someone stops speaking I earn $100 take that Jeff Bezos. But according to op, someone has to say your first name. Does silence count as saying? We can go to the courthouse to argue with op. Have a sign pinned to my chest that says call me Chris and I'll give you a dollar. You belong in her Chris. I have found my people. You're also rich, Chris. I would pay $10 to everyone who can make another 10 people say my name. Straight to the MLM. Or problem. I'm somewhat disturbed that it's even a private sub. If you give me $5 I'll let you in. This guy MLMS. Go to a large sporting event and pay the announcer to play Sweet Caroline over the loudspeaker. Your name is Ba Ba Ba? Good times never feel so good. So good. So good. Hold a sign saying I'll give $5 to anyone who says my name. Easy money. Why not just $1? That should be plenty. My idea is to take out all the dollars I could from the bank, go downtown, put on a suit so people don't think I'm homeless, and give dollars to everyone who says my name. I would wear a giant name tag to make it obvious. Hi Jack. Hello. My name is horribly hard to pronounce. I feel personally attacked by this question. Edit, I will individually pee on everyone who says hi horribly hard to pronounce, I'm dad from here on out. You know that meme of the guy on a subway who made a Wi-Fi hotspot named Yell Penis for password. i do that, but with my name instead. That's easy money. Edit, don't connect to sketchy public Wi-Fi guys, bad idea. I actually have a crazy story about connecting to public Wi-Fi, it's not something you want to do. Edit 2, Electric Tuvalu, people want to hear my story, so I'll give you guys the link to a YouTube video I made about it a while back. It's actually my most viewed video. U2.B I've never seen that haha, you got a link? I live in New York, so I just ask people to say my name on the street. Reverse panhandling. Make a sign that says I'll give you one dollar to say my name. My name. Now give me a dollar. As soon as that hundo hits my account the dollar is yours. Abduct a child call the police tell them my name drive to a different location await monies from the Amber Alert. And my name is Amber, I guess that's my scheme too. Wait, you wouldn't even need to do anything. People will say Amber when Teresa an alert somewhere in the States. Except the challenge is to make people say your name. My first response was to do nothing and let the cash roll in, given my fairly popular first name. However, this wouldn't work because you have to have had an influence on people saying your name. Yup, plus if we don't put in that addendum them someone like you or me would just crash the ducking economy. Think about if you were a Middle Eastern person named Muhammad. There are literally 150 million dudes with the name Muhammad. That's like 15 billion dollars instantly. Not even counting all the people that say his name in prayers and shit. That'd be hundreds of billions if not trillions of dollars. It's so much that no institution could handle it. Get the Nickelodeon theme stuck in everyone's head. Instant millionaire. I read your comment and immediately started thinking Nick 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 Nickelodeon. And now it's stuck in my head. 
Thanks. Not gonna lie, I sat here and counted all your nicks to make sure you had the correct amount. Go to a frat party with a bunch of drunk dudes. Start chanting Clintoris Maximus. Clintoris Maximus. Clintoris Maximus. Everyone joins in unison. Even though that's probably not your real name, getting a group of frat dudes to chant Clitoris Maximus wouldn't be hard. How do you know that's not their real name? Wait till Biggest Dickus hears of this. I go to the courthouse and legally change my name to the name change caught up in bureaucracy, it doesn't go through in time. Congratulations on your new name though, the my mom just had to get a name change and it took about two months, and almost $300. At least it's cheaper than changing your name on a plane ticket. Life pro tip, if you've spelled your name with a mistake in it on an upcoming flight booking and don't want to pay the ludicrous booking change fees, legally change your name instead. It will be cheaper and easier. Ugh. Seriously. I recently signed up for a customer account with an airline. All I had to do to sign up was type in information, no verification required. After hitting submit I realized I had typed a letter in my first name wrong. I thought, no problem, I'll just go into my account and edit it. Nope. To fix that typo they wanted me to fax in a signature and photo ID. So I cancelled that account and immediately opened a new one, no it required. You had to fax it? In 2019? They're not even trying to be subtle about the fact that they're making it needlessly hard lamal. Find a celebrity with the same first same as me. Go to an event where they are set to make a public appearance and or orchestrate a surprise mass mobbing of said celeb by their fans. Duck. I don't think Terry's anyone famous with my name. Edit, Annie is not my real name. If it was smooth criminal would be a brilliant idea. Also works if their last name is your first name. I would drive to a crowded area and draw a crowd by ripping phone books in half, which is an easy trick once you get the technique down. Once a large crowd has gathered, I would prepare to attempt to bench press my truck. I would say, the only way I'll be able to do this is if you chant my name. Then I would just let them chant until they got bored, and then drive to another crowded area and repeat. Step 1. Figure out where the hell you'll find a phone book. I get a phone book every year. I think the whole suburb does. Anyway, nobody uses them, and it just sits outside all the apartment doors for a few months. No idea why we get them. I don't even remember the last time I ever even saw a phone book. Cuss that crazy sob is ripping all of them in half. Go to the nearest big stadium game and take over announcer booth. Get the crowd chanting and repeating after you and then throw in your name. Boom. Tens of thousands of people at once. Bonus points for hitting multiple stadiums during the 24 hours or hacking into the announcer booths to do it at stadiums all over the world. Go to Op's mom's house and start getting busy. Joke's on you. I'll get rich as she screams my name out of force of habit. Are you her other son? Start ignoring my wife. It says every time someone knew. Unless you've got that many wives. Your wife will start bitching to other people making new people say your name in conversation. Set up a live stream of my bank account, post to Reddit saying, Magic Bank Account, say name out loud and it will go up by $100, only works once per person, if you don't believe me pull a family member in and try it again. Sit back and get very rich. That would probably most likely work. My first name is one of the more prominent figures in the Bible and is one that stays pretty consistent between different languages, unlike, say, Peter, which has radically different spellings and pronunciations across different languages, so I'd request my 24-hour period to begin Sunday morning and make me some Joel Austin money. Jesus Christ, it's Jesus Christ. I just go to work. Kids yell my name all the time. You a teacher? Hopefully.